So here we are, uh, about to start a new project, um, and getting ready to work on our character. Let's open up the reference, which we'll be working with. Um, this is the uh, reference that I have. Um, the red panda that I'm going to end up modeling, more than likely, is going to be this one down here. So this is going to be the file that I'm going to be using, um, or this is going to be the character that I'll be, uh, that I'll be working with. Uh, essentially, we have concept art that was, uh, that was generated. Um, there's one concept artist. So he's going ahead and generating art um, for various bits. And um, while, uh, while this is happening, uh, so, um, people are going to want to um, kind of see how the characters feel, um, maybe as a maquette or um, even in 3D. So essentially what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be um, dissecting the information from this image and, um, and doing what I can to get as close as I can to this model. Um, which um, happens to be a process, something that I've been doing uh, quite often recently. So here, um, I have my new project. I have Red Panda. I'm going to save it out and just going to use my defaults and accept. Um, projects are pretty important to make sure that you keep all the assets together within your scene. Um, uh, as we all should know by now, if we go ahead and go to File, um, I'm just going to go to Save Scene As. And then this is just going to be an excuse for me to open up, whenever it, it does open up. I'm just going to be an excuse to open up this location here. And then I'm going to go maybe up. Uh, and then to images. And I'm going to drop an image in here. Let's find images. Cool. Let's see if I can just drag and drop. Oh, nope. All right. So let's go ahead and just copy this location. So I'm just going to hit. Uh, Apple E or Windows E. I'm just going to open up an Explorer and I'm just going to copy this down. So we'll go I come backslash my Dropbox and uh, it'd probably be useful if I used the right slashes here. So let's go ahead here and 3D World enter and then we'll have red panda and then here I'll just go inside image images and just drag in my reference beautiful alright so from here um, I should be able to uh, open up my image so I'm going to close out my attribute editor. Um, one of the things I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be um, hitting control spacebar often. So whenever you see the viewport, um, whenever you see this happen, uh, I'm entering expert mode and um, I'm just uh, kind of expanding that out, uh, making sure I have more uh, real estate here. So uh, especially since I'm in such a small um, uh, resolution here, 10, uh, 1024 by 768. So here, I'm just going to go ahead to panels, and then I'm going to grab this panel here, and I'm going to make this a render view. So uh, this is important since I don't necessarily need my image in 3D space, um, though it can be useful to have it in 3D space. So I'm just going to go ahead, file, open. I'm going to get my Springer Red Pandas. Uh, the images were uh, kindly done uh, uh, by Sean Springer. Um, I'll have more information, um, more of his information available. So I have my image uh, in place and um, I can go ahead and uh, start thinking about the character. The most difficult part of working on in, uh, a character is one, understanding what it is. Um, three quarter images are really useful in, in that you get so much information here. Uh, you get your center line down here and then you get so much other uh, data. Um, you get curvatures and you get silhouettes, um, which is pretty, uh, which is nice. Um, you really get the overall feel of the character um, through a three quarters. Um, so if you're going to have one image to do a, a character from, this would probably be it. But once you have more experience, you can go ahead and do one from a front view or um, or side view. So. With this, um, the most important thing to start figuring out is the overall shape. So you kind of have a really large ball and it kind of tapers down into kind of maybe a similar shape. Uh, so you have one mass and then it scales down and then through the length of the body it finally gets back to, uh, I would say, something that's as 
uh, wide, uh, as wide um, side to side as the head is from maybe front to back. Um, cool. So another thing that we can do is uh, generate, uh, bring this down into our viewport. So we can go ahead and I'll just bring it to the front view. That would be fine. So let's go and go to select camera. We'll open up our attribute editor by hitting control A. And then from here, we'll just go to, we'll go down. And let's see, we have our front shape. And then we're just gonna go, oh, it's been a little while here. So let's just go view, attribute editor, camera settings. It should be the shape, and then we'll go down to, here we go, environment, and then image plane, we'll create an image plane node. And then on this image plane node, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, bring in our image. So this would be the image. It should open up the last folder. The explorer does that a lot. Uh, I guess not, uh, maybe I should have thrown it into source images. So. Um, I'll probably do that. So I'll copy this and just bring it to source images as well. Since that's the default area that it's going to be looking uh, for that image. So I'll just paste that there and just give uh, the software what it wants. So we'll just go up. Source images, red panda, and open it up. All right. Um, the reason I even bring this up in here is to uh, is to give me a way to dissect this some more. I don't necessarily do this often, um, but it usually helps, especially um, doing a demonstration like this. Uh, so we'll go ahead and bring up uh, this and Y. In order to do this, I'm just going to hold down Control and left mouse button drag. If you middle mouse button drag, it will go a little faster. I'm going to try to bring the character's feet down here. So, uh, with that, okay, and then I'll bring it down in Z, back in Z, a little bit. So, with that, I should be able to um, uh, make geometry and, uh, and go ahead and just start having fun. So, let's go to create, and then we'll do polygon primitives and cube. I do most of my work uh, starting from cubes. It's just how things end up uh, turning out. So this is the front. Oh, I pulled it back in the wrong way. So I actually want to pull this back this way in negative. So right now my image plane is in front of my uh, is in front of my select camera in front of my cube. That's why we can't see it. So if we go into here. Let's go to that output, and then we'll bring this, we'll make this a negative 13. Whoops. I hope if I do that in the right axis, we'll make this a negative 12. There we go. So now it's behind the grid, and I can see, I can see my, uh, my cube, my geometry. Let's close our attribute editor. Let's grab our geometry, and just kind of just get this to match the size of the head. Um, I'm... I'm going to scale up in all three axes here to get a kind of bounding box volume of the head. And I just want to get a general idea. So here I have this shape and this is going to be um, a, a measurement, a tool used for measuring. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this and then I'm just going to hit control A, rename this, I'm going to go head unit. Um, hit a red panda. I'll do red panda head unit. Red panda head unit. So that equals more or less what one head unit is going to be. Um, so I want to dissect um, how tall this character um, is uh, within head units. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my move tool um, using the W hotkey, and then I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate this. Uh, I can do it. Whoops. I can do this by hitting Control D, or we'll just go Edit, Duplicate. We'll bring it down, and then I'll just do it again, Edit, Duplicate, and then we'll bring this down. 
so um, the way this is looking, it looks like it's two and a half heads, but we have to account for the fact that the character is uh, squatting, um, kind of um, crouching down. So I'm going to go ahead and rotate this a little bit and just kind of take up this area right here. So this is kind of one. So I'm going to say that this character, um, accounting for his legs being bent and his back being bent, is actually going to be three heads high. Um, so with that, I get to take this and just bring this up, and this is going to let me know more or less how tall this character is going to be. Um, in addition to this, I can also um, get general proportions for the arm lengths as well. So with this, I can go ahead and um, duplicate. Um, well, maybe not duplicate all three, but I'll grab one of these. I'll par perhaps grab this one. Hit Control T. Or, excuse me, that was my fault. Uh, so I have this. I've got that point. So um, with this, I'll, I'll hit Control D, or I'll just go Edit, Duplicate. And then here, I'll just grab some vertices and just um, duplicate this head length here. So now I'm going to get the length of the body here. And then uh, I'm just going to go to Object Mode. I can do this by hitting uh, control spacebar and then just go in and see here. It's like by object type. Let's see. There we are. Help if I name this. So this would be arm unit red panda. Arm arm length. So with that, I can go ahead and move this out of the way. Select these two and just kind of bring them back. It doesn't matter if they're on top of each other. I just like to make sure that they are. Um, so let's go grab this. This and X should be this number. Actually, we'll just select them all and just zero it out. in X. Boom. So that's zeroed out. I can zero this one out in X as well. And then I'm just going to rotate this up. Let's actually center pivot. Uh, modify center pivot. And then I'm going to bring this up here and just rotate this. So this um, will be kind of a general um, size of of the length of the arms. It's not exactly going to be correct, and we're going to have to use our eye in order to get this to fit. Um, but this is something that uh, we uh, that we can use as a guideline. So more or less, we're dissecting the 3D image um, with the broadest, most uh, with the most broad uh, bit of information that we can um, by using generic, um, just generic character. Uh, uh, generic character proportions, you know, the length between the t arms, between tip to tip, usually will be the length of uh, the character's height. So, um, just kind of getting those things down. Okay, so now that we have this basic uh, file down, we can go ahead and save this out. So we go File, Save Scene As, and then we'll go... Red Panda measured M E A S U R E D. Cool. So now that this is measured out, um, what I'll do, I will go ahead and do file save scene as, and this will be my start file. So this would be Red Panda start. Um, I'm kind of um, cautious when it comes to saving files. Um, you never know when things will happen. You'll be rushed out and you'll hit Control S and you'll accidentally save over the file that you had. So I'm going to go ahead and do Red Pen to start here. So if I do hit um, Control S by accident, I'm not going to um, lose that information that I had previously. Also, what's useful is I'm using. Um, something called Dropbox um, and it's a folder that's synced 
uh, with uh, with the web server, and essentially the server will um, create iterations of your file. So if you override a file, um, like hitting um, Control S, it will um, have different versions um, of your uh, of your file. So it does simple versioning for you. So here we have our basic uh, size of our character, and from here we can do a few things. Uh, one uh, one thing that would be useful. Uh, would be to break uh, our tools up, our measuring tools. So I'm going to select these guys and make a new uh, layer, and this would be red panda, red panda, uh, ped, ped panda. So this would be red panda uh, height, measure tools, and then I'll put layer here uh, at the end um, so it knows. And then this one will do layers create there. Double click. We'll do red panda. Uh, we'll make this red panda arm length. Oh, it's measure tools would be empty and then layer reason I put layers if I need arm length MT uh, for something else then uh, uh, then I can use it for whatever it is instead of um, having the name clash uh, name uh, name clash detection uh, take over so let's go ahead and just uh, just change uh, change measure tools to MT Cool. All right, so here we have um, uh, this uh, this start for this character, and uh, let's just go ahead and just um, move forward with this. I want to bring these referenced, and then um, actually I'm going to grab one of the head units, and then I'm going to duplicate it. Control D, and then we'll reference that out. So with this, if we just hide these guys, whoops, let me add a new layer, create layer from selected, this would be red panda left. So this will be the left portion of my character. So if I hide these guys, bam, and then I'll have this, we'll rename our units, red panda left. Cool. So from here we'll go ahead and we'll do a block out essentially um, using this data that we generated here. So with this um, <laughs> roughly we're just going to recreate what we have. Um, you could have, uh, we could also just select uh, these points and just kind of merge them together um, but I like to box model in, and that's what I'll do I'm going to use the multi mode which is really useful so I'm going to go ahead and select um, actually in this case it's not quite as useful so oops so what I'm actually going to do I'm going to go to face grab this face down here and then I'm just going to extrude shift right click extrude face or we can alternatively come to uh, edit mesh and then we can do extrude face which is right in front of me where is it do, 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 do. merge merge connect or oh, it's extrude I just saw it okay here extrude and then I'm just gonna go and bring this down one I'm gonna hit G and just Come bring it down to no need to be exact since we're working on we're working on our broad forms right now. Okay, so here uh, let's bring up our layer. Control A to bring up our attribute editor, and then I'm just going to go ahead and hide these for now. So here I have more or less where my head units are going to be and I have this reference here. I'm not going to be paying too much attention to this view. Um, I already dissected the data and I'm just going to be staring at um, <laughs> at this to kind of get me where I want to go. Uh, one, of the, uh, one of the things that I want to do, I want to start rounding off our shape 
um, and start getting areas where we can uh, bring in our arms, uh, our basically our appendages. Um, so let's go ahead. Uh, let's refine where this neck's going to be. So the neck, there is some length to the neck. So let's go ahead and do this. So we um, will have an area for the neck. So I'm just going to go ahead and select these faces here. So with those selected, I'm going to go ahead, uh, shift, right click, extrude face, or we can go to uh, edit mesh, extrude. And then I can just bring that down. All we know um, generally is the head is one size and then the neck is definitely smaller so the rest of the body um, will also be smaller but it actually kind of tapers off from here so I just separated that and then I can go ahead and perhaps um, use a lattice for these points here so I can grab these points and um, eventually we will mirror this over but I'm just working uh, with this now um, how it is so I'm going to grab these and then we'll hit uh, F to to open up um, to change the the context here to so we can grab a so we can create a lattice so we'll just create a lattice here and then uh, there are quite a few points here on the lattice let's actually go to our option box lattice option box and then uh, let's go ahead edit reset settings and then we'll just hit apply um, and those settings should be fine for what we need so what I want to do I'm just going to grab these points and this probably would work just fine um, the way uh, this probably would have worked um, completely fine uh, with the soft mod tool and I just kind of overlooked that so I'm just gonna hit B uh, get the soft mod tool enabled and just hold it down or the soft selection tool um, uh, hold it down bring up my radius a bit and then just scale down so we'll scale that down and I think maybe something like this will actually work so I'll probably select these faces and just bring these down some more turning off my soft selection. I really don't want soft selection there for that. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this down. Maybe something like that. So more or less, I'm beginning to like um, the shape that we're getting. We're getting a bell um, and we're able to um, look at this broad form and compare it to this broad form, uh, which is important. Um, I like the lattice because it is pretty forgiving. Um, it separates, it separates uh, your your shape you're moving from your geometry so if we needed just to delete that we can undo and just kind of see where we're coming from so those deformers are really useful so here I have um, my panda head or character so far so let's go ahead and delete our history edit delete by type history so now um, um, I'm kinda liking these broad forms Let's go ahead and start. Uh, I'm trying to think whether or not I should put uh, start getting the legs and or the arms in here yet. Um, more usually, I start to block in the arms once I round out the shape a little bit. But um, I don't think it would be a bad idea to get the arms in here. So the arms would come in right around where the shoulders are, um, or uh, right around where these loops are. So we'll just go ahead and select these guys. And then I'm just going to uh, go to create deformer and then, or my mistake, we'll hit F3. And then we'll go to uh, edit mesh, extrude, and then we'll just grab these guys and just pull out. Okay. And I just want them to be the same length. Um, I'm just going to hit this and hopefully, now it's going to move it all in that, that direction. If I hit um, control space bar and double click this guy to bring up my option box if we go to local will it let me no all right which is fine so I'm just gonna undo a little bit grab these guys again 
and then we'll just go extrude face or just extrude and then we'll just pull this out and then it's going to pull out uh, using the normals which is what we want and then we'll have our uh, our rough arm complete arm length this is with the hands included the tips of the fingers included okay all right so um, with that I'll just straighten this out here that's not too bad so we can hide those arm the arm length so now we have uh, this kind of rough shape uh, so far so next we can go ahead and dissect let's close that out control enter now we can start dissecting um, how far down the uh, the hips kind of start so what I'm going to do I'm going to isolate the shape here um, just so I can visualize this area so um, kind of what we have uh, kind of what I'm seeing actually is uh, we have this unit which kind of seems like I'm just going to bring my fingers to the screen and just kind of do this by hand. Uh, this, I'm actually going to grab, I'm going to put my finger here to here to grab the unit and then I'm just going to rotate my fingers to uh, more precisely get the uh, the size. Actually, it's probably better off if I do everything uh, in here. So I'm just going to grab this head uh, unit layer. I'm going to duplicate that and I'm going to remove this from my layers. So. Uh, we'll just make a new layer and then we'll just call this free free form tools so we'll save that out and then we'll hide you and we'll hide you And what did I duplicate? Okay, so I duplicated. Okay, I duplicated the wrong thing, but that's okay. I'm just gonna delete all this stuff. I probably should do this in face mode. Gross selection, delete. All right, so I'll have this, and then I'll use this as my measure tool, um, which is what I was actually using. I was using my fingers, actually. So I'm just gonna go ahead. So I have this here and that's okay that's understandable I'm going to go ahead and rotate this a bit and then just kind of bring this here so one head unit down um, I would actually say the head unit would start around here um, compensate for the neck because uh, I was going straight to the shoulders so um, maybe I'll, I'll say around one head unit is where where I'll put a line for the hips which there should be one already um, did I delete that? I didn't want to and then from here we'll have uh, let's see maybe another another unit so um, I think I'm a half a head unit short uh, for the character um, I'll just keep a mental note of that um, when I'm modeling or when I'm going. So let's hide you, bring up our character again, and then right around here is where I want um, uh, to add those uh, edges. So right about insert edge loop. Um, we can also get that by going edit mesh insert edge loop tool option box is pretty important I just want to make sure everything is reset and then I'll just go ahead and insert an edge loop there so this is more or less where my um, uh, where I'll have my hips uh, start so we'll close you and from here I want to um, give room for our legs so I'm going to go ahead and grab these guys and just kind of scale these down and maybe pull them up a little bit so I know where the 
the hips are going to start, the legs are going to start, um, but there's going to be kind of a crotch area, so I want to make sure that I have that in place. So, <clears throat> however tall the legs are going to be, um, this is kind of, or whatever the distance I assume this is going to be from here to here is what uh, is what we'll want in our in our model. So we'll just grab ahead. We'll go ahead and grab these guys and just um, extrude them down. I'm just going to hit five uh, so we can see what's going on. So I'll grab these and then I'll just go to extrude. We'll go to edit mesh, extrude here, and then we'll just pull this down just in Z. And then we'll just scale in Y, and then just kind of flatten that out a bit. We're not trying to get the exact character here. All we want is a feeling of the character, since we don't have exact reference. And um, a lot of the time, this this process when you're modeling from a concept like a concept concept art like this, most of the time. Um, you are part of the creative process. You are, um, uh, you will be uh, contributing different looks and styles to this. Now, when you have your uh, front and side references, yeah, um, that will, uh, that will uh, be uh, slightly, that will be more precise. But um, here, um, it's more of an exploratory uh, type of thing. So let's go ahead and taper this down. This does taper down a bit, and then it comes back out for the feet. So, um, just the feel of what we have, um, I think this character reads as taller um, than what I have, and that could be um, due to a few things. Um, the distance between where the hips are and the bottom of the arm is different, um, so I have these arms as pretty, uh, uh, they're coming pretty low. So let's go ahead and just bring these up. Mm. Instead of doing it that way, I want to maintain the shape that I have. So I'm going to slide these edges. I'm going to slide them up. Um, I'm going to use the uh, Edit Mesh Slide Edge tool. And then I'm just going to go and just middle mouse. Whoop. Let's try that again. Edit Mesh Slide Edge tool. And then there's a middle mouse drag. Okay, let's just select one edge, let's try it that way. Okay, it's not, it's not gonna, it's not gonna do my thing. Um, what I can do, I just um, change out to my move tool, and then I will uh, move this guy up, so I'm gonna hit C, and then just drag it up. Let's see. You know what? I'm just going to grab these points and just kind of slide them up visually. I'm going to lock this axis by holding down control and clicking on it. Or this axis is what I want to lock out. So we'll lock this out. And then we'll just grab the middle and just kind of move it up. Maybe right around here. I'll do the same thing. Cool. Yeah, you don't need to be exactly precise with these things especially so early on um, I find that spending too much time um, earlier on kind of trying to get things perfect will uh, well in the end uh, make you uh, not as confident of where you're going um, okay. well the uh, pr beginning process is in exploring um, part of the process so you don't know where you're going and that's the entire idea you're discovering um, your reference and you're discovering the shapes of your character so um, the, the whole idea of it is to be unsure and to make big leaps instead of small changes um, the small changes really um, won't um, get you anywhere so the small changes happen later on so more or less you'll get 70 percent uh you'll get 70 percent complete with the model in 50 percent of your time and that last 50 percent is to um, get
get to is to you'll spend that last 50% of your time so let's say it'll take two hours to do a character uh, the first hour is spent to get 70% of the way there and it kind of looks almost finished and then that last hour is meant to get it the rest of the way so it's, uh, your work is kind of weighted that way um, this tail is also important um, let's go ahead and get that in there we'll grab this and just extrude that out Whoop. And let's just scale this straight. And in 2011, I noticed uh, the retained component spacing um, acting up a little bit. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, this, uh, let's, I didn't do any measurements on this. So let's go ahead, we'll hide this, bring up this tool. I already used this for what I needed to. So let's go ahead and bring this down. And yeah, uh, we are working with perspective here. So you got to keep that in mind. Too. So here we have kind of one and a half, maybe one and a half units uh, for the tail or head units. Oh, look, he's carrying a box. So um, we'll just go ahead and rotate, rotate this. We'll come this way. Up, oh, hit Control Enter to unlock that. So we'll go ahead and bring you down. So we'll have one control D or we'll just duplicate here and just bring that out. We'll hit four. So um, that's not too bad. We're just double checking really. So we'll hide you guys. We'll hit five and um, we have uh, we have a nice area, a nice block out uh, portion uh, to start with. Um, I think we should probably break this down even further as far as maybe rounding some of our shapes out. No, no, you know what? I think this is a good place uh, to end uh, to end this bit. So we'll save. We'll go file, save scene as. And then we'll do red panda. Can I change the name of this? No. Okay. So we'll do mesh measured. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna want to change this to image measured so we kind of or measured tool um, measured tool so I I'm gonna change this to red panda MT and then this would be mesh measured so then we'll go ahead and save that and let's see yep so um, this would be kind of a good place where um, we can go ahead and stop uh, here. So with this, we can do a lot of things. We can do layouts uh, with this. We have a general idea of the, the height and width that the uh, character is going to take up. Um, things can still change, but this gives us something that we can go ahead and, and, and block out camera movements with. So there we are.